So the next section, section 4.2, is all about adding and subtracting polynomials. This really just wants us to focus on combining like terms. I know this is something that we've done before as we've been working with um, solving uh, equations in one variable, but now we're gonna look at examples that have more than one variable. So I wanna give us a formal definition of a polynomial. So a polynomial is a term or a finite sum of terms, right? So we know how big it is with only positive or zero integer exponents, okay? So no negative exponents on our variables. Um, if the term only contains a variable uh, x, we would call it a polynomial in x. This is what we primarily are gonna be working with, polynomials in x. So a term is made up of coefficients and variables, or just a coefficient. So the coefficient is the number in front of our variable. Um, if the coefficient's not in front of a variable, we can also call this a constant. The degree of a term is the exponents on all the variables in that term added together. So for example, if I have negative three x squared y cubed z to the fifth, this is gonna have degree two plus three plus five, which would give us a 10. So this is a degree 10 term. The largest degree of the terms in a polynomial is the degree of a polynomial. So for example, if I had 5x squared plus 4x to the fifth plus 7, this would be a degree 5 polynomial. So if a doesn't equal 0 and n is a whole number, the degree of ax to the n is n. Um, the degree of all constant terms is zero, and the constant zero has no defined degree because remember, zero to the zero is undefined. So the polynomial 5x cubed plus x is a degree three polynomial. The degree of five, five is a constant, um, is zero, and the degree of zero would be undefined. Here are some commonly referred to types of polynomials, okay? So remember that the terms of a polynomial are the pieces that are added together. So a monomial would just have one term, like mono, like mono a mono, one on one. A binomial, like a bicycle or binoculars, is gonna have two. And a trinomial, like a triangle or a tripod, right? Just looking at prefixes, is gonna have three. And this is a degree one polynomial, this is a degree two polynomial, and this is a degree five polynomial. Again, we're looking at um, the term with the highest degree to define the degree for the entire polynomial. So when we are adding and subtracting polynomials, what we are doing is we're combining like terms, right? We wanna get everything back together. The word algebra comes from uh, fixing of a broken bone, like getting the bone back together. Um, I think I got that right. So here I have 7x squared plus 3x minus 4 minus 4x squared minus 6x minus 7. And I'm doing two subtraction examples because we need to remember to distribute this negative right here. So I have 7x squared plus 3x minus 4 minus 4x squared plus 6x plus 7x, I distributed that negative. Now I can combine like terms. I'm gonna rearrange this example. So I've got 7x squared minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 6x minus 4 plus 7. And I rearranged my terms so that the like terms were close to each other so we can see how I would add or subtract their coefficients. So if I have 7x squared minus 4x squared, that becomes 3x squared. If I have 3x plus 6x, that's going to give us a 9x. And if I have negative 4 plus 7, that's going to give me a positive 3. So now I have a trinomial, right, of degree 2. Next, I want to subtract 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 3x plus 7 from negative 8x cubed plus 4x minus 12. So we're going to take negative 8x cubed 
plus 4x minus 12. And we're going to subtract from that. Be sure to use your parentheses so you don't forget to distribute the negative. 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 3x plus 7, right? That's kind of a mouthful. So my first few terms don't change. And then I distribute that negative. That's going to give me a negative 2x cubed positive 6x squared positive 3x minus 7. Now I can combine like terms. A negative 8x and a negative 2x gives me negative 10x cubed. Sorry, I forgot to say that they're both x cubed. That's how I can combine them because they're like terms. Then I have 6x squared. That's my only squared term, so it doesn't get added to anything. I then have 4x and 3x. 4 plus 3 would give me a 7x. And then I have negative 12 minus 7 which is going to give us a negative 19. Um, this is a polynomial. It doesn't have a special name because it's got four terms, and um, it's a degree three polynomial. Friendly reminder that when we write our terms, we typically write them in descending variable terms. So see how, um, sorry, descending degree terms. So here, see how my degree is three, 2, 1, and then finally the degree on a constant is 0. Um, that's the way in mathematics we like to write our polynomials.